All right, guys. I want to talk to you about a topic that a lot of students are struggling with, and it is magnification. So let's say I have a picture of this ant right here. Well, the picture is tiny, and I can't really see it. So I'm going to zoom in two times. If I zoom in two times, I would say that the magnification for this is 2x. Now, let's say if I'm still not happy with the picture, and I want to see a more clearer picture, I'm going to zoom in and make this like 200% of its current size. So, that means that I, the magnification now is going to be 2x. 2x. Well, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So, this magnification is now 4x. Oh, easy enough, yeah? Um, same concept goes with this picture. Well, this is clearly a picture of some sea animal. Uh, but I want to know what it is that is over here. What is this dot thingy? Alright? So, I'm going to, instead of zoom in to make it bigger, I'm going to zoom out and make it smaller so I can see the whole picture. So, whenever I zoom out like that, hmm, I'm going to say that the magnification is 1 over whatever it is that I just zoom out with. So, 1 over, I zoom out 2 times, so 1 over 2 times are equal 0.5x. 0.5x. Notice that it's zero point something instead of like it's a decimal instead of the whole number now let's say if I was still not happy with this picture and I want to see even a more full picture and I zoom out one more time ah it's clearly a picture of a whale shark I would then say the magnification of this will be one divided by, I zoom in one, two times the, in the first picture and now I'm zooming to an, one more time on the second picture this is 1 over 2x over 2x so that's mean 1 over 4x or 0.25x so that's what it means whenever you making the picture smaller you're going to have a decimal. Whenever you're making the picture bigger, you're going to have like a larger number. All right. Oh well and good. But what am I going to use this for? Oh, well, how about this? How tall is this minion? Um. By the way, you should notice that there's this thingy down here. This is called a scale bar. And the way you should think about a scale bar is that it's like a tiny little ruler that you can use to do stuff. So, for example, this ruler here say that this di distance from here to here is 10 centimeter. So I can literally just stack it up and say, okay. From this point to this point is 10 centimeter. I'm stacking 10 centimeter on top of 10 centimeter on top of another uh, another 10 centimeter. So I'm uh, guessing that this minion is about 10 plus 10 plus 10, about uh, 30 centimeter. Cool. Um, but what happened if you get something more scientifically like this? They're asking how long is this red blood cells? And they give you a scale bar of around 10 micrometer here. Oh, you can use the same technique and say, okay, uh, this is 10, oh no, this is 10 micrometer. And I'm going to overlay it like this. But I mean, you can 
see pretty quickly that it's not going to be not going to be very accurate because I mean you can move this thing around but then it doesn't really doesn't really fit right I mean there's a little gap right here so a more uh, accurate way way of doing this is that you will stick a ruler so I'm gonna grab an actual ruler and I'm gonna put it on here to measure the scale bar and so it looks like this scale bar is one two two point six two point six centimeter so I'm going to say that this ten micrometer is in actuality in actual ruler size is 2.6 centimeter so this is real real size and this is ruler the ruler say 2.6 centimeter and then I can um, take this same ruler maybe tilt it a little bit here uh, stuck it on this line and measure okay it is one two three four five six six point about six point five six point six okay I'm gonna throw this ruler around oh no what happened I just throw this ruler on the side here okay Okay, so it is about real size of this red blood cell. I don't know. I'm trying to find out in micrometer, and the rule blood say it is 6.6 .6 centimeter. Now, using the law of ratio, what I could say is that 10 divided by this is equal to 2.6 divided by 6.6. .6. So, um. So I'm going to bust out my calculator here and I'm going to say okay 10 divided by this is this divided by this so 10 multiplied by 6.6 .6 divided by 2.6 is going to give me this um, if you really suck at math just remember you gotta multiply across and then divide it straight up so 10 multiplies by 6.6 .6 divided by uh, 2.6 equal 25.4 just about. So I'm going to say the answer is the answer is 25.4 microliters micrometer okay um whenever you arrive at an answer just double check does it make sense this number 2.6 is smaller than 6.6 .6, therefore 10 is smaller than 25.4 yeah it looks about right check now if you mess up the calculation and you arrive at the answer of oh say something smaller uh, 5.2 micrometer well you would check put 5.2 microliter here does it make sense well this number to this number is smaller and this to this is larger well that doesn't make sense ratio wise right so this must be incorrect sounds good alright now another way that they could ask you is let's say um, I have this red blood cell um, let's say they asking you what is the magnification what is the magnification of this picture actually they don't even have to give you 
the picture of this red blood cell at all. Just ignore it. All you have to care about is this. So, uh, same thing. I'm going to grab my ruler from over here. I'm going to stick it over here. And I'm going to say, okay, uh, oops, my ruler is going all ha hazy here. Uh, measure around 2.6 centimeter. So, magnification is equal to the real size, the ruler size, I'm sorry, the ruler size divided by the real size. So, that's what equal 2.6 centimeter divided by 10 micrometer. So that will equal to, or well, 2.6 centimeter is 26 millimeter divided by 10 micrometer, and then 26 millimeter. Just commit to memory that one millimeter is equal 1,000 micrometer. Just remember that, okay? Um, so that would be 26 multiplied by 1,000 divided by 10. So that is this uh, 2600 times. 2600 magnification of 2600. This is your answer. Okay, how do you check? Uh, this red blood cell obviously got zoomed out. It is bigger than its actual size, so this number is not a decimal. So, ah, that makes sense. Look like we did right. Okay, last thing that they could ask is, let's say they didn't give you this, but they give you that this red blood cells is 50 micrometer in length and they ask you what should be on the scale bar ooh that's difficult but it's actually very similar to the first problem right here so why don't you guys try it out